this evening not just the manga industry, but the entertainment industry in general learned that they lost a giant. Kentaro Miura, the creator of the manga series Berserk, uh, which is commonly lauded as one of, if not the best manga, the greatest manga of all time, Mura had passed on the 6th. His family had a private funeral. He was 54 years old. Um, and the information was released just recently. And um, it's it's been it's been hard to uh, really process this it this is without a doubt the biggest gut punch of a loss that I think I've felt in a very long time and there are so many thoughts that are just spinning in my head right now and I had to put something down in my medium of choice which, of course, is video and expressing myself with that video to the generous audience that has joined me in these past years. Um, many people do know Berserk was a series that I enjoyed very greatly. And many people know that I only recently had gotten into the series about four, maybe five years ago. And I enjoyed it so much that I actually got upset with a friend of mine from high school whom I knew was a big fan of the series for not forcing me to read it sooner. Because it's such a impeccable series that explores so many heavy and deep topics of a man's emotional journey in learning how to healthily deal with his traumas. It's heavy and sometimes very hard to read. Um, because of the subject matter. And I know a lot of people have avoided it or have uh, stopped reading it because of some of the the um, very mature content within. And of course, as well, it's beautifully illustrated by Miura with fantastical monsters and grotesque action sequences, but at the same time with such tender emotional scenes. When we see these characters, specifically when we see Guts, as he, as he develops throughout the series, and his journey, his emotional journey from the start of this series to where it is, is one of the, the biggest, the heaviest that, that I've seen in any medium. The loss of Kentaro Miura is not one that is just relegated to the manga medium, as he inspired not just many of the creators who are working in the industry today, but he's inspired creators in the West. He inspired a lot of video games. There are so many different things and so many different mediums that Miura had inspired in the decades 
that he was putting in his work on this series. It's an understatement. Everything that I've said about him is a complete and utter understatement. And as heavy as it is for me, as I mentioned, I only recently had gotten into the series and started to appreciate it and how amazing the narrative was. But there are so many others, like my good friend Omar at Near Mint Condition, whom I know has been reading the series for decades, and to have something be a piece of your life for such a long time, and to have the creative mind behind it taken at such a young age of 54 years old, I texted Omar as soon as I got the text from my friend Alex telling me what had happened. I texted Omar. Because I had the... <laughs> I just had to say, like, dude, this happened. He says, yeah, I, you know, I can't believe it. I said, my heart is so heavy right now. Like... pumping out of my chest like I was like I could feel my heart in my throat and it's something I, I, I laying in bed just a minute ago I, I said to my wife who I love so much because even though she doesn't care one bit about any of these things she was listening to me just opine about Miura and his work and god I was literally talking about it to her I'd never spoken about Berserk to her at all and I was speaking about the series to her earlier today and about just the heavy elements and commentary that this series has about so many just important things but I, I told her, I don't know if I should feel silly because I'm mourning so heavily for the loss of the creator of a, of a manga, or if I should just feel thankful that someone created something that that touched me so heavily that I'm hurting this bad by it by their loss and she said you know I, I think the latter and and it's right I think that any of us who of of the many of the countless of, of us who are sitting there learning of this news and taking it heavily, that we really have something to be thankful for. That a creator gave us something that impacted us so heavily. That someone gave us a work that they put the majority of their life into. And that we carried it with us. Because that means that they were successful in what they were aiming for. That means that Miura left the legacy that I'm sure he desired to. And then I began to think about all the times that we as fans become frustrated by the delays, by hiatus. And it's a word that we hate to hear. The many delays that Miura had on Berserk. You see my Vagabond books above me. The series that's been on hiatus for about six years at this point. And I thought a lot about 
Tagashi and his work on Hunter x Hunter and, and how often that series has been on hiatus. And I think that we just totally selfishly take for granted the fact of how much work, how much of their lives that these creators put into what they produce and how much stress they undergo. And we get annoyed that Oda doesn't release chapters every single week for One Piece. And we're upset because Togashi hasn't had a new chapter of Hunter x Hunter since 2018. But we know because they tell us. They express these things to us. This is, this is a health issue. I need a break. I need time. I need to heal. And it's, it's selfish of, of, of us. And I, I try not to do it, but I know there's so many of us. And, and this is just emblematic of, of why we have to listen to and respect these creators who are providing us with work that we love, work that impacts us so heavily in our lives. Because they put everything into it. They put their lives into this. They often are not, you know, clocking in and clocking out and calling it a day at 5 p.m. so they can go and do things. Like, these people are, are meeting deadlines. They're putting their entire lives into this stuff. And one would only hope, one would only hope that they make such a mark on the industry as someone like Miura has. That when they pass, they inspire people to feel such emotions for the loss. So the point of this um, impromptu video being to lament this loss, being to in some way celebrate Miura and celebrate his work and celebrate what was given to us over the decades that he had been producing this title. And while the elephant in the room is that unfortunately it likely won't see a conclusion. I say likely because you never, there could be scripts, someone else might come in and, and be able to complete it, you never know. I'm not going to say that that's what's going to happen. Likely what will happen is that this is it. But if you've been reading the series, no matter how long, whether you just recently picked it up or you've been reading it for decades, or just a few years like myself, I know it's hard to focus not on the matter of the incompletion, the matter of being left unfinished. But there's so much more to celebrate and to respect in what has actually been given to us. And I don't know if I'm in the minority with this, but I felt that Volume 40 had such a... Spoiler alert, I suppose, but such an emotional climax to it that left me, when I read it, completely satisfied in regards to everything I had read before, that if that were the final volume, I would have been fine with that. And so while no, we're not getting a complete conclusion to the series, I do wholeheartedly believe that Miura has, for me as a fan... And maybe many of you, maybe a few of you, I don't know, but he gave me an emotional climax, an emotional conclusion to the story that I was following. If you haven't read the series yet, of course there are many content hoardings behind it. There's much, much mature content throughout the series. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it for every reader, but if you have not read it yet, and it seems like something that you would wind up enjoying, 
I implore you to explore the series. I, I implore you to read Berserk, to read Miura's work, to read this work that he put his life into, to understand the impact that it's had on so many other things, so many other pieces of entertainment. Thank you for the time. Thank you for allowing my voice in this 15 plus minute video. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. If you're hurting right now as well, I feel you and I understand and I, I get it. And it, everything will be fine. I know that right now, if you feel anything like I do, it feels like you lost a friend. And as they say, this too shall pass. So take this as one of the countless times in anyone's life that you'll be shown that terrible lesson that you never know. You never know when someone's final days may be. And to appreciate and respect the time that you've had with that person, if it was someone that you knew or if it was someone who's impacted you that you did not know personally, like Miura was for many people. Take a moment to respect what has been part of your life. Thank you again for allowing me this platform to speak. And uh, I will see you all on on better days in the future.